so obviously I went to the wrong grid spot, spot didn't I? Uh, doesn't help. You'd think after years of racing I'd know where I should go. But anyway, here we go. Up to start, the launch control isn't activating and this bike is a fucking pig to get off the line. The clutch is so hard to modulate. Um, and then if you've also got to think about trying to get the revs right, I'm going to struggle. Um, and I don't do it that often either, so this was really frustrating. I think if the launch had worked, I wouldn't be losing. And you can count them seven spots off the, off the start. Um, so that was painful. And then obviously once you're back here, you've got to try and work your way back through. And it's a really quick field. Um, you know, this is Sam Middlemus on the black bike just in front of me there. He's done beer to me this year. So, you know, it's a very fast. Uh, group here, mainly because the next BSB round is at Alton Park. But anyway, we're going to get a head down, get into this race. Um, to be fair, I had an amazing weekend. Like I set a new PB, my ideal lap I got into in this race was 41.1. That's just outrageous for me. I never, I've, it's always been a bit of a bogey track. I've always been slow, and getting into the 41s and <coughs> getting deep into them is pretty cool for me. neutral in this corner and <clears throat> that's not going to uh, help my um, my plan of moving forward is it but um, don't seem to have lost too much time and uh, actually I've pulled this pretty much back in into the next corner and will I look for a cheeky lunch cheeky lunch have some of that um, we're in this race now one or two oh we're on the second lap you can see everyone has gone away from me so I'm gonna have to dig deep this is pretty good for me because it's a carrot, isn't it? And you've got those riders in front of you, they lift your spirits. You look at them, especially if they don't go away from you. So at the moment, you'd say Sam has pulled away from me, um, bear in mind where we were at the beginning of the race. But then certain parts of this, it's a really good track, right? You can have strengths and other people have weaknesses in the same areas, so you get a bit of an ebb and flow. Um, I'm quite strong over here, I think we'll see I've pulled Sam in a little bit, hopefully. Um, and uh, at the end of the track I think I'm quite quick. My mid-corner speed seems to be high. You'd think on the Panigale that it's all about the power, everyone's like, you know, big power figures. But the reality is, like BMW and the Honda, they got the same power, um, if not more. And the Suzuki's are very good out of the corner, they've got really good mid-range, but they've got that variable valve timing or whatever um, and that was right. if you see how far away we were then that was a good take on Sam so we've gone up I've skipped the next couple of laps so we can see us pulling in this group but what I have noticed a lot on the Panigale is my mid corner speed seems to be greater oh and I forgot to, I didn't see it last and that's Will's gone off to the left there coming into that she his handlebar snap lucky not to get a big injury or collect someone oh that looked horrific and I think that's actually down to this counter-rotating crank. <clears throat> you know, Ducati claim crank horsepower, you know, is massive on these bikes. But when you look at it, the wheel horsepower, there's not much between these bikes at all. And my reckoning is the counter-rotating crank loses power. Um, as you'd expect, it's an extra part in, you have to, you have to turn that engine 
spin direction the other way so that it turns the same way as the rear wheel right so you go forwards and not backwards and the cost of that is you lose a bit of power but if you're making a lot of power at the crank you can afford to lose that and the advantage is the way the bike turns and I guess that's maybe that's why some people struggle at um, World Superbike or BSB on them because it doesn't turn like a, you know an inline four bike or with a forward rotating crankshaft. But if you're like me, um, where I tend to run a bit of a higher corner speed, it really really helps because it helps the bike turn. <coughs> and this bike is the best turning bike I've ever ridden. Um, but then you know if you're going to carry high corner speed tends to compromise your exit because your bike still lent over um, and you can see like this Cory Tinker on the Fireblade here, Cory is well fast, he hasn't been on that bike a long time to be fair so um, I got a bit lucky uh, when I've been on track with him that, that he's new to that bike um, and then we've got Paul Barker in front of us on the BMW and you see when I come up against the Beamers, those BMWs are really strong, I know they're not that popular in BSB, you don't see them race that much, you know, everyone's on the Honda aren't they, but um, you know, I've raced against Sam Cox, I've been on track against Sam Cox and the bike is fast in a straight line, um, and here we see again like in these change of direction, do I pull into pull there, also I tell you what's amazing with that crankshaft is the braking, braking stability on the Panigale is phenomenal. Um, here you can see up this hill with the power, the BMW's pulled away from me, but at the crest where you get a wheelie on the BMW, I don't get the wheelie because of that crankshaft. And uh, now I've got the mid corner speed coming back to me and I've pulled it right back in. So as you can see the real ebb and flow of the circuit here. Um, and look at that, see he was wheelie in there and I wasn't, he's got a lot of power. His wings probably aren't as good as mine, it's reality. I always love a good wing. Um, and here we go, a bit of shakes across the line. See yeah, if we can do the same though. <coughs> Can't get past Paul. He is good on the brakes. This is going to be a bit of a battle. We're going to see a lot of Paul this race. We caught him at Brands Hatch, didn't we? Didn't quite get past him because my quick shifter started randomly cutting the power. He's run wide there. Now look at the power. So he's getting the drive. I've come on to corner with a bit of higher corner speed. <coughs> he's just pulling away from me. But that, you know, part of that is the undercut. The BMW is quick. They are good, good bikes. Um, apart from they're not very reliable, are they? Ironically, probably the least reliable bike on the grid is a German bike. Um, and let's see how this little battle unfolds for us. Been 
been um, really quite a surprise. Probably as much as him as me. But um, here we are. We're going to get um, get up to Brendan, see if we can get past him, and then I think that will be the end of our battles because um, I think Sam's the next rider in front of Brendan, and I think Sam might be 10 seconds up the road. Which, even though I'd like to think I can have a battle with Sam, I can't in reality, and um, I'm definitely not going to pull any time out. is the start of the slide backwards. I've done really well. Here comes Brendan back past me. And uh, when I got past him, I can't remember if I had a lap or two in front of him. I just started losing my energy. I'm just it's tired. It's a physical, physical track. And without someone in front of you to just distract you from you know, the fatigue, uh, I wasn't able to keep pushing. And I just dropped off from, I don't know, half a second, second. Look, here comes Corey back underneath me as well. Corey. So, two riders have just done really well to battle past. They've got back past me and um, I didn't really have the energy to get back into them, unfortunately. And, but this is the last lap, actually. I'm going to try, if maybe I've had another lap, you know, who knows, right? Maybe they will tie. I doubt Corey with that. I think he's a very, very young lad. And I said, I don't know Brendan, so I don't know where he's at. But, um, it's, you know, if you look where I am now, you know, I've got no chance, but when we get to the end of this lap, you know, I'm putting them in a little bit here, they've had a look, so I'm now back with them. I can just get my head down, just try and pull some energy from inside myself to focus enough to just push my brakes or turn the bike a bit better, get onto the throttle a bit more. You know, a bit slower over there than I have been in previous laps. You know, the energy's not there, the tire grip might be going off slightly, but I'm still going to chance. Look at this move from Brendan, that is a mega move. He's just driven right underneath Corey. And there's nothing Corey can do. So I'm going to hopefully Corey's going to have a lunge and maybe push around wide and I can have a little look. But yeah, it just. It wasn't a bad last lap. I tried my best and I, I was really stoked, really happy with the way I raced. Other than that launch, it's like fuck you, Ducati clutches. They're so hard to launch. You see people on ZX10 firing it and that's where we need to get to.